Well, Sarah, it, it was just a matter of time. We've, everybody in the pits were saying, well, this would really be a great if Newgarden can finally win a race. You guys have stuck with him. You gave him his chance. How's it feel? It's awesome. You know, I mean, <laughs> he's such a great kid. And uh, to see him through his first win and uh, his fourth year, he's just, he's such a different person. <laughs> Watching him grow up and um, his family's great. And, uh, you know. You're going to get your turn in a few years. <laughs> it's just a lot of fun. And we're really, really proud of him. Did you, uh, you were so funny when they interviewed on, on NBC because you were like, oh, I think we got enough fuel. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> well, they're trying to say that we we're going to make it to like slap 67. <laughs> no. <laughs> you driven these enough to know. Oh, uh, probably not. <laughs> but so I didn't want him. I didn't want him to feel bad that that was not the number. But you know, same time, you can't just tell what lap you're pitting on. The other thing that's kind of cool is is that you know I'm I'm sure there's been overtures from other teams again, and he stuck with you guys just like you stuck with him. He did, and you know it, it was um, you know he's looking towards a little more tools and a little bit bigger team, and, and working with Ed on the ovals. I know he's looking forward to that at Indianapolis. So uh, you know going into the month of May, this is fantastic. It just gives us a rhythm. And the one thing that I really wish that we had was uh, Wink and Libba Hartman here. You know, they're not here. They're in Wichita, and I, I just wish they were here. It'd make it more complete. Well, half the team's here. See you, kid. <laughs> All right, Sarah, hell of a job.